Hello, my name is Rebecca and welcome to my channel All About Stuff. This is an, a new video on my latest cat series um, channel that I have developed. And today I'm showing you um, actually a combination of pieces that I used from different manufacturers um, to create this, this cat tree. So down here, the base, including the scratching post, is from Pet Pals and I purchased this through Amazon. Now this base here, it came with this basket. And this basket is, is actually kind of on the small side. I was a little bit disappointed when I received it. Um, my cat Reba, who is eight pounds, fits exactly perfectly inside of it. Um, there's really no room for her to move around. So personally, I felt like she didn't really get into it too much. Um, and I figured, you know, maybe she thinks it's a little bit tiny because she really likes to rub and move around a lot inside of her baskets. So I went ahead and I purchased this basket from Mao, M-A-U. And I had to go directly to the website for this. They don't sell um, separate parts through Amazon, unfortunately. So I went to the website and this is a replacement basket. And it fits perfectly on top of the base from Pet Pals. And the material matches perfectly as well. It's both um, recycled paper rope. Which is really nice. It doesn't smell at all, absolutely no odor. Um, I do like the fabric that came with this one. So I'm, I actually moved my gray Mal full uni tree down into the kitchen. So I put this one here. It's a little like lower profile, which I like. So she's an eight pound cat. She's not an especially big cat. Um, she didn't have any issue hopping up into there. And honestly, when I got this basket, she hopped right into it and she has not gotten out. Um, the smaller one she tried and I just noticed her wiggling around in a lot and just, you know, I, I can just read her very well and I knew that she needed a little bit more space. So anyway, that's what I did. So when you go on the Mal website, if you want to replace the basket or, you know, you can actually choose the color you want. I just put back in the original pillow that came with this Pet Pals set, but when you choose a basket on the Mal website, it will ask you what basket color. I chose black. So the black one is actually in the wash. It's much bigger than this one. It comes up to probably here. So it covers it much better. So, and you also get to choose a pom-pom color. So there's several different colors to choose from. And also several different of these on the Mal website. Like I said, they're larger. And the ones I looked at, the colorful ones, um, they're like a velvet velour type material. So I'm actually planning on sewing um, I think I'm going to do this at least. I was planning on sewing matching cow print pillowcases to go over the Mao pillows that I got. Or even over this. I can make a little pillowcase. So we'll get the, uh, the rustic farmhouse look going, which I really like. So, and I found this really cute little stool. I got this off Amazon. Um, it's really adorable. So the story behind getting this is that... Reva was not using this cat tree when it had the smaller basket. And I wasn't sure if maybe, I mean, she got into it once. She looked like she struggled to get into it. And I was wondering, well, maybe she has a hard time jumping up. Maybe it's just the way it's shaped. She wasn't climbing up. I don't know. So I got this little step stool kind of as a kitty step stool in case she needed help. But when I put in this bigger basket, she just leapt right up. So she didn't have any problem at all. I'm not sure what was going on before. So this has made a really nice little stool for myself. It's very tiny. I think it's about 11 inches diameter this way, a little over 11 inches and about, I think 10 inches high. Anyway, it makes a really nice little place for me to sit and pet Reba. And if she ever does need a little step down, I'm sure that would be very helpful for her. So we caught her in a grooming session right now. She's definitely enjoying, I would say the larger um, basket. And I think these baskets are about 17 inches across 
And this one, uh, I can't remember. I think it's like um, 13 or 14 inches across. So it's a lot smaller. Here, I'll hold it up in the camera so you can see the difference. Well, actually, it's kind of hard to see the difference in the camera, but trust me, when she's in this one, she's much more balled up. She does not have that space around her to move around. So, you like your new basket, Reba? Yes, I can see you're very happy with it. So anyway, YouTubers, I just want to share that little trick with you. I know I looked at the reviews for this cat tree, and a lot of people said the basket was a lot smaller than they thought it would be. And their cats look pretty tight in it. So... Like I said, I think the original basket is definitely more suited to a small cat or kitten. Reba's eight pounds, um, and she fit in it, like, exactly. So, but she definitely prefers this. And I think these baskets for Mal, they can hold a pretty good-sized cat. So, just something to look into. And I'll put that information in the description if you want, including the a link for the stool um, and for the tree itself, if you the base part. And the original basket if you're interested um one comment i will make is because i felt like i had to purchase a separate basket i wish it was a little less pricey um for the size of this one with this it was definitely on the higher side so but that's okay i mean if you really like it then it's it's worth it and i really like that it's low profile and she can hop right in and she has a great view, and I can tell she's loving it. She has not gotten out of this since I put it in, which was probably, I don't know, an hour ago. So if she's happy, then I am happy. Thanks for watching. Bye.